most people assume that talking about careers with your elementary school kiddo is way too early, but that's a big mistake. Talking about different careers with our kids early on starts planting the seeds in their mind and creates a closer relationship. Now, this is not about starting to plan your child's career or pushing for a particular career on them. It's really about exploration. So these conversations open a doorway to discussing different education paths, their interests, their passions, and makes talking about school and why you need to learn different subjects like math or science or reading much, much easier to have. And we actually recently had a guest on Education Secrets, Cynthia Devez, an author on Coaching Your Kids to Success, who had amazing results with her kids by starting these career conversations early. So today I'll share with you five conversation starters that you can use with your kids. So the first is, you know, ask your child, do you know what mommy or daddy do as their job? Or maybe you can ask, well, what do you think my job is? And here you may get some funny answers from your kids, especially if they're young. Maybe you want to start talking about what you actually did before you became a parent, if you're currently a stay-at-home parent. So you can discuss with your kiddos what you like about your profession, what did you study, and why this was helpful to your profession, what you wished you could have learned. Let's say when you were in high school or college, that would have been helpful now. Now, the second conversation starter is asking them, well, what do you enjoy doing most? And what would you like to do when you're grown up? And here, it's really about recognizing your child's interests and talents and discussing what types of careers might be a good fit. You know, oftentimes kids will say, I want to be a doctor or a lawyer, because that's what they hear maybe their parents saying, but they don't really know what it means in real life. So actually, I have a perfect example. You know, one mom had reached out to me and she was very, very upset regarding her daughter. Um, you know, she was really in a tight spot and, you know, her daughter, well, let's call her Amy. She was about 12 years old and Amy said that she wanted to be a lawyer when she grows up. However, my, her mom saw that Amy was really avoiding reading and writing and was actually doing quite poorly in school in these, in school in these subjects. In fact, she spent all her free time playing video games, right? And, uh, you know, I think there are quite a few kids nowadays um, that get caught up into this trap. But uh, she was literally, Amy was literally spending her days in front of the computer or on her playset. She was avoiding schoolwork and was never reading for pleasure. Now, Amy really had a kind of a disconnect with her dream of being a lawyer. I mean, if she was serious about becoming a lawyer, then it's about having those conversations, right? Of, well, what do lawyers actually do? And what subjects do you need to master in school and college and law school? And these are really, you know, writing, analysis, public speaking. So if this is, wasn't really her dream, you know, the alternative conversation is that seeing how her interest in computers or video games then could be further developed with IT classes, with design classes, uh, animation classes, potentially, and to see if this is maybe something she'd like to pursue in the future. So my third conversation starter tip is to encourage to have your, for your child to have conversations with people they meet. So let's say, you know, you're going to visit a doctor or a dentist, or maybe your child is meeting up with their tutor or teacher or sports coach or, you know, a coach of some extracurricular activity. So this is the time to, you know, encourage them to spark those conversations. Ask questions like, you know, ask the doctor or the teacher or the coach how they got started in this job and this career and this profession. How long did they go to college for? I mean, are they enjoying their current work? What are the fun bits? What are the hard bits? And the purpose here is not just to have your kids speak with someone from the profession they think they're interested in, or maybe you'd like them to be interested in, but it's really for them to start learning about different career and education paths and options. And it's really about get, having those conversations. Now, my number four tip is to introduce your kids to people who are in the career that your child is interested in or a similar career. Now, these could be friends of the family, relatives, neighbors. And it could be people you'll make a special point of meeting, going to a lecture or an event. And my fifth tip is to have conversations about um, 
the books your child is reading or the movies that they're watching related to particular professions. So, you know, I mean, let's give an example. I mean, maybe your child has said that they dream of being the president of the United States and maybe meeting actually the president of the United States is not an option for you. I mean, you could maybe meet a legislative page in your state government, but really what you could also do is read a book about different presidents, uh, a biography, you could watch movies about um, different types of professions. So again, get creative and encourage your child to start thinking, to start having conversations. And when you're having career conversations with your young kids, I mean, this can be a great motivator. You will develop a closer relationship and they will also have an easier time speaking with you about school and learning and why certain subjects will be useful later for them in life. And you will also open your child's window to the world, to different professions, to different areas of study and start planting those seeds of their future success by recognizing their interests and recognizing their dreams. Thank you so much for watching Education Secrets and hit the subscribe button to get other videos on this topic. Thank you for watching. If you're enjoying this, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss future videos.